Yeah. Now we have seen what is points. Now I'll just uh, go to the topic again. The second part projection of lines. See, basically, a combination of two points, you know, it becomes a line. I said one point is A, other point of B. If you join these two points, it becomes a line. That's it. So it is a common idea. Now what I'll say is, just consider this line. You no, know, this pencil. I mean, sorry, this pencil as a line. Now this will be your VP and HP, as I told you, your board and floor. Horizontal plane, vertical plane. Now I'll just keep this uh, pencil in a different, uh, you know, direction. You can, by imagine, you know, by imagination, you will tell what is that position is. I would like to hear from you only either it is perpendicular or parallel. That's it. Because normally we know what is perpendicular and parallel, right? Now this pencil is kept like this. Now what is this position? This is VP. This is HP. We know. We are just, I am just holding this pencil. I would say this pencil is parallel to the vertical plane and also parallel to the horizontal plane. Okay? Horizontal plane and vertical plane. It is parallel to both the horizontal and vertical planes. Right? Now, I will keep this pencil in this fashion. Now, what do you say now? Okay? You have to just think and you know, imagine and say this pencil is perpendicular to the vertical plane but parallel to the horizontal plane this is HP it is HP this is VP perpendicular to the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane now any other position possible the third one can be like this this line you know this pencil is or a line is perpendicular to the vertical, I mean horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane. So, a line can be either parallel to one plane and perpendicular to other plane is one option or it can be parallel to both the planes. Right? This is two possibilities. Well, what would be the third possibility for a line? Okay? So, this parallel and perpendicular, it is common by idea, we will understand. You no, know, it is parallel like this for the both the planes. Perpendicular to one plane, say suppose now it is to perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. I will keep it like this, it is because perpendicular to where? HP and parallel to VP. It is easy. Other than this parallel and perpendicular, you know, two modes, what is the third one possible? I will just hold this line, okay, generally. Now, I will tilt this line, okay, like this or like this, whatever it is, like this. In the front view, that is what you are looking, whatever you see in the front view, you are going to draw it in the horizontal plane, okay, I mean sorry, vertical plane and whatever you see in the top view, that means in from this side, this angle, we are drawing it in the horizontal plane, that is what we have learnt, okay. Now, I will just draw a line. See, I am drawing an XY line. XY line. See the parallel line, whatever you have, this line is parallel to both the lines. What will you draw? An example. I will just take a small example. Like this and like this. See, suppose this line is, again okay, line of length, suppose, you know, 10 centimeter line is 10 centimeter. This is also 10 centimeter. This image will be like this. And kindly remember I told you this line is called line of projection because you are always writing an image of the line in the both the planes, horizontal and vertical. Here I can obviously write vertical plane and horizontal plane. Okay. Now this is projection line or projector. I will write one more line, projector it is, it is a projector, whatever you see here, it is the bottom, this line is combination. Now, this is my front view, 
yeah and this may top you for what i told you this is the line this is vp and hp right now it's parallel to both the places. parallel means you see a line here from here also what is this the distance from this xy line if i keep it like this the pencil may be either here i mean the line may be either here or here no problem but we used to keep it in a distance and this distance is what from front view this looks it is on this that's what you are drawing it here and you can see this distance that is this height this height can be given a line at a distance of say suppose 10 mm or 10 cm whatever it is you know whatever the distance can be given okay and this is also can be given because this top view will be a distance from this vertical plane to this okay this distance can be another 20 or 15 20 millimeter. Okay. Now I told you it can be either parallel, perpendicular to one plane. That is now it is perpendicular to VP. One more chance and perpendicular to HP also. This is three options. The fourth one can be what? See kindly listen. This is the line. If I tilt this line, one minute. Just tilt this line like this. It is an angle. Okay, can you see this angle which is tilted in front view or top view is my question. Line is like this, you know, it is parallel to VP, you agree? Parallel to both HP and VP also. I will keep, see this point can be A and this point can be B. Okay, I will keep this point A as it is until the point B. Okay, but from your front view, can you draw this? Because front view you are drawing always in VP. And you understand? Front view is always drawn in VP and top view in HP. That we know. So in the front view, can you draw this tilted angle or tilted line? I mean to say, I keep my point, suppose this point may A, this point B. Okay? This point is A and point B. Now, I keep my A as it is. Okay, this point and B should it be like this because B is here or since I kept it like this and tilted, this tilting can be drawn it here. This becomes P. This is a very important point wherein you have to consider or you have to imagine properly to understand whether I can or you can see this tilting angle in front view. What I would say, you know, practically understand, this line is here. No, I need, I need not keep it, you know, in this. I will just keep it here. This line is this. The angle which is tilted here like this cannot be seen in the front view. You agree? Because point A is like this, like that, and point B is here. Whatever I tilt it, keeping point A like this or this, this may be, you can again see a point here and point here only, but this tilting angle, you cannot see that, you cannot imagine properly, but this tilting can be only seen through top view. When you, you, know, you are an observer, you know, this is an object, observer is your eyes, when you bring, you know, you, if you think or you are viewing from this point only, you can see this tilt, like this, that point B is tilted, but in the front view, you can see only two points in this end and this end, that again you will draw only a straight line. It is very important because if you understand the basics, the further any problem, complicated problem, you will easily, you know, draw it in the sheet. So what I am telling, even though it is tilted, the tilted angle cannot be seen in the front view. You can again, you will drawing only the straight line because the tilted portion can be only viewed through top view this. Clear? So, this is my front view, I will erase this. Is that okay? I again tell you, whatever you draw, this, this is about a line where parallel to both the planes. I kept it like this, no? Can you understand? This is very important example. I kept it for both the lines, it is parallel to this and parallel to this. So, I drawn this. Now, this I am coming to consideration that I have tilted it like this, but in front view what you draw and top view what you draw is very important. 
Can you understand? In the front view, you cannot draw the tilted angle. Because front you can see, the point A lies as it is, point B is also, but you can ask me one question, sir. If you tilt it, whether the line's length will be same? It won't be same, because the line is suppose has got this 10 centimeter, right? If you tilt it, when it becomes like this, say suppose I am telling, this 10 centimeter is not equal to this 10 centimeter. That is normal, you know, your calculation, common sense and mathematics also. Inclined lines length cannot be equal to this, because you are making an arc to tilt it. This arc has got different radius. It's a very good question, what you asked is correct and it won't be same length. That points we will go for in the further problems. You will understand, you know, when we get into the in-depth of this particular topic. Now, basically understand, whatever you have in the front view, the tilted of, not the tilting of this line cannot be seen. Now, I will take this question as in a different way. How? See, I told you first three conditions, very important. First point is keeping both parallel, parallel to VP, parallel to HP. Second point, making one perpendicular. Now, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Now, third one, perpendicular to HP, parallel to VP. These three conditions basically exist, whatever it is, you can draw. Fourth only comes for this tilting, you know, the angle, giving an angle. So, I just told, I tilted like this. Basically, I keep the line here, parallel to both HP and VP. When I tilt it, I am drawing this line in the front view as a straight line. What does it mean? Can I say this line is again parallel to VP only? Because the tilting angle you cannot draw in the front view. Right? I will write this parallel to, you know, this symbol I remember, you know, this is parallel to VP as it is. Clear? Parallel to VP only. But the inclined part where you are looking out, where you view the top view. The inclined, the inclination whatever given, this inclination can be on the top view out. You have to bring it, you know, when you come down, this point remains A here, point B has been tilted. Okay, actually it should be like this, same. You know, straight line only, but it has been tilted to this angle. Okay, small so tilt. So, I would say this line is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. Clear? Because actually we, we are looking two views always, front and top view. The line was this, like this. I have tilted. So, in the front view you are drawing only a straight line, this straight line. So, I say it is parallel to particular plane VP. It is parallel only. Because you, when you see it is parallel, inclination only to HP you are drawing, so inclined to VP. What is the other possibility now? I should make, see this one thing is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. What is the other possibility? I will make it parallel to HP, the next option and inclined to VP. Now it is your task, you have to think, how do I draw? How to draw this now? The same setup, okay. I'll make it here. How? Okay, I'll I'll come to an, another small sketch, so that it'll be you know easy to understand. VP and HP. Now, what is the setup? See, you should always say, you know. Uh, basically, I'm holding just a, this is this CD box. You can hold your either your hand, you know, like this, or better, you can open your notebook. Then I have bind notebook. I buy a note, thick notebook, you can open like this and keep it. It will be very easier to, for you to understand. Hold a pencil like this and see. First question are both parallel, one perpendicular, all this is okay. Third one, I told came, fourth one, like this. One tilt, that is, if this is parallel to VP, like this and inclined to HP, I wrote, it is over. Now I am coming for fifth one, parallel to HP and inclined to VP. Basically, keep this line as it is, not the pencil as it is. Now, what will happen? Instead of this tilt, I have to go what till now? I should make the line inclined to VP. 
for this VP I need inclination. Where can you see the VP inclination? In what position actually? You keep the line like this, you tilt it, always you can see the inclination to the HP only which is already over. Now the VP inclination how to see? In what way? You have to think. It will be a line is like this, you keep it like this. When you keep the line inclined to VP means in the front view you should show inclination. I hold like this, you keep it like this. A point A, oh, okay, I'll you know I'll I don't change my point A and B. I'll stick on to the same point. I'll keep my point A as it is till this. Because see, I was writing A in the right hand side and B in the left hand side. Let it be as it is. No, we need not change the points. So you'll be confused, you know. It's easy for you. Keep this point in the A as it is fixed, tilt in this fashion. You know, this direction. I was tilting it like this before, now you tilt it like this. The point A is as this and B is being tilted like this. Now you would say, this tilting angle, can you see from the front view? Obviously, yes. Because I keep like this, okay, and I just tilt it like this. I will obviously see this curve, curvature, possible. But from the top view, again the same question. If I tilt it like this, from the top, I can see this point and this point, but the tilting angle cannot be seen. That is a simple difference between you are making an inclination. I repeat, you made, you hold the line parallel, okay. Now point A is as such, you tilt it in this fashion. Vertically, I can say, vertically you tilt it this fashion. So in the front view, I can see the tilt, but in the top view, I can see one point and this point. But maybe the line is short. It is called foreshortened line, length of the line. You can draw it. Line is short or it is, you know, extended line. You don't worry about it. But tilt can be seen only in front view, but not in the top. So, wherever a line, a line I am drawing it as parallel. For now, what I want? Parallel to HP. Now, the tilting position I told like this. So, from the top view when I see, it is parallel to HP only because I am drawing a straight line. I cannot see the tilt. So, I will draw a tilted line, you know, parallel line here. Point A is kept as it is B. Okay? This so it is like this. It was tilted like this. Okay? Point A is as it is there and B is as it is there. But the tilt can be seen in what front view only. Is it correct? Now, I just take this point here. Come now. Here I have a tilt. A is actually here. But I am I tilting down? If left to you, you can tilt either down or up. Because the direction is same. I can tilt it down, I'll tilt it. Okay? This is B. That's it. See, I'm not telling if this is no 10 centimeter line. Kindly understand, students, that this 10 centimeter is not equal to this 10 centimeter. It cannot be because it is foreshortened. That we'll see the next point. How do we project it using the arc? Now understand the position, placing. Okay? Either it is parallel to both perpendicular to one plane other parallel to other plane or it is inclined to one plane and parallel to other plane. Can you make perpendicular to one plane and inclined to other plane? Can you just imagine? See this is a line again, perpendicular. Okay? If you want to make it perpendicular to what now? VP. Parallel to HP. Can you make this the tilt of inclination? If you treat it like this, where can you see this picture? Cannot see anywhere. So there is no option which is called perpendicular to one plane and inclined to other plane. Never possible. Because you see in the front view, what will you see? You cannot see this tilt angle. Okay. This is parallel. Now perpendicular to VP. When you tilt it, this tilting cannot be seen either in front or in top view. It can be seen only through the side views. That is a sixth option. We will see it in later. So basically you have to study a line parallel to both VP and HP. Now perpendicular to HP, parallel to, I am sorry, perpendicular to VP, parallel to HP. Now perpendicular to HP, parallel to VP and inclination. One tilt and other tilt can be like this. Is it clear? That's fine.